for staying with us. Now that we're back in our new studio, we get to have music again on Fridays. We're so, so excited. And I believe she may be the first. She's a deep, abiding love for the land and people of the rural Northeast. So it's no surprise. This is a common thread in her debut. I'm going to butcher the word. Dirigo. Dirigo. You told Got me it, it before, too. <laughs> Dirigo Attitude, which was released just this month on May 3rd. Sarah Trenzo is here to play a sample for us today. Sarah, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for here. having me. I love the name of your title, by the way. Um, on your website, I went and read your bio and yeah. why you named it that. And it, it's a word I've never heard before. Yeah, it's Latin for um, I lead or I direct. And it's the main state motto. I call a little town um, in Maine called Unity, less than 2,000 people, home and just recently moved um, from there to Nashville to pursue songwriting. Wow. But a lot of my stories are from Maine, and that's why the name of the album is Dear Ago Attitude. It's such an original title, and it, to me it says that you are bringing so much of your upbringing in Maine into your music. Is it weird to be in Nashville, a completely different place, or does that bring out more inspiration? Um, there is a little bit of a dissonance, because a lot of times we think of country music as being from the southeast sure. and I love country music from this part of the country but there are rural people all over the nation yeah, absolutely. Um, and so I've been um, taking my songs and this album around to everywhere I get to play right. to share rural Maine stories with folks that are listening to me. I see. I like it. Well in your stories you had an interesting job before you committed full-time to music. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, um, for almost a decade in Maine, I was an organic vegetable farmer, but um, not f um, farming to go to market, farming for food pantries and soup kitchens oh, wow. who provided um, organic produce to folks who couldn't afford it on their own. So, okay. man, did I rack up a lot of interesting <laughs> stories and heartbreaking stories and heartwarming stories, um, but it's like just exactly what country music is for, in my opinion. So that's how you got started into music, right? Yeah. I assume, from yeah. doing the pantries? Well, j just um, like a, it's a new development for me. I'm getting okay. kind of a late start. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 stories to tell. No, but, um, but I think, you know, it's uh, turned over a new leaf and just said, what if I pursued songwriting? And everybody in your family thinks you're crazy when you do this, but you decide to like sell your house and leave a great job and move to Nashville. Because it's in there, and yeah. it's, it's paying off for you. You are doing phenomenally. I know you've won a few awards. Where are you performing next before you play for us? Um, I'm, my next show is all the way down in Nashville, but if you all happen to be in town, um, it's not too far. City Winery um, on the 26th um, in the lounge. It's, so. hey, any excuse for a trip to Nashville <laughs> yeah, is a good one. We'll take it around here. Well, sir, what right. are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play a, a song called Food and Medicine, which is about what we just talked about, um, some of the folks in my community who are facing those hard choices between food and medicine. Perfect. Okay. Well, we will turn it over to you. Thank you so much. the month again and I'm choosing between food and medicine medicine and heat heat and doing something with my girlfriends I suppose the choice is easy cause I refuse to let the pipes free let a bunch of ice bust up the best thing that I own. Nobody tells rich men what to do with their millions. Got a bunch of ideas for my Seven fifty. Check on the stars and smoke one cigarette after I put her to bed. Don't worry, I did not buy them 
on my ear. 